AutoCAD Electrical uses the Project Manager to manage all of the drawings associated with any project. In the last video, we created a new project, but we saw that when we went to add the descriptions to the project, it didn't have any information on what each of those lines were supposed to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a file to your project to make it easier to understand what each line of information in the project is about. In the previous video, we created our first project for AutoCAD Electrical. Now remember, the project file is the file that keeps everything organized. It tells the project which drawings are included and what the different formatting and all that kind of stuff is supposed to be. So it's really important to our work here in AutoCAD Electrical. If we look in the details portion down here below, notice I've got practice project one selected here. Down here in the details, it tells me where it is, the database that's being used, and it gives me the descriptions of line one, line two, and line three. Now, that was the part that wasn't very user friendly. What are line one, line two, line three? Where are they going to show up in the title block and so on? So in this video, we're going to add a file to this project location that helps to make that a little bit more simple. If I right click on project, practice project one, and choose descriptions, you'll see here that I've got line one is going to be practical AutoCAD and Inventor. Line two is AutoCAD Electrical. Line three is project number one. But it doesn't tell me anything about where they're going to show up in the title block or what type of information was supposed to be there. If I didn't know what to put there, I wouldn't have a clue. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a file called a WDL file that just fills in some of that information for us. Now I've already done some of the work here, and so if I open up Notepad, you'll see that I've already done some typing before the video began. That way you don't have to sit here and watch me type. But what I did was I said, okay, line one is actually title number one in my title block. Line two is title number two, line three is title number three, line four is the job number, and so on, okay? So what you wanna do is just type in Notepad exactly what I have here line one, line two, line three, line four, and so on. You can do this for as many lines as you want. You do not have to do all of the lines, so you could skip line three, you could do them out of order, you could start with line nine and go to two and then up to four, it doesn't really matter, as long as the format is about the same. So I, I know that I want to have all nine of these, so I just did it in order because that's easiest for me. But then note, I, I included this note down here just so that I wouldn't forget. When you save this, it has to be saved in this proper format. Project name underscore WD title un, or dot WDL. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this portion right here. Copy. And then I'm going to get rid of all of this because I don't need it. And now I'm going to save this in the right location. All right. So it has to be the right format in the right location for it to work. So I'll go to file and I'll choose save as. And you'll notice right off the bat that it wants to save it as a TXT file, which is not what I want, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to go ahead and navigate to where my project folder is. So I'll go to users, and then I'm just gonna dig down in here a little ways, and I'm gonna find it, <clears throat> project, and it's in this folder right here. And the, the one that I want, again, it's not a TXT file, so I'm gonna drop this down, I'm gonna choose all files, and then what I can do is I can put in the name of this as the, with the proper format. So the name is Practice Project 1. And then the rest of that, and I'll just paste it in here, underscore wdtitle.wdl. Again, I'm adding the extension .wdl right here. So I need this to say all files right here. So I can choose Save. And now it's saved it in the right place. Now that I'm done with this, I can close it. And because that file is now in place, if I right click on Practice Project 1 and go to Descriptions, you'll see that instead of saying line one, line two, line three, it now has this information, which makes it easier to fill it out here and gives me a better idea of where it will be applied in the title block. 